What's up everyone and welcome to yet another Overwatch League community update. Uh, you guys have obviously been digesting a lot of big news that were announced this very week from our friends on the Overwatch development team. Now it is our turn to really figure out what all of that means for the fifth season of the Overwatch League and to help explain just that I've got the guys that hold all of the answers, Sean Miller as well as Matt Morello. Welcome, guys. How you guys been doing this week? Hey, Zoe, thanks so much for having us again. I mean, as a fan of this game, i like over the moon about all these things that are coming. It's out in the open, things that we've wanted to talk about for a long time, and now they're out. And we can talk about how that relates to the league and, and what's coming. So thank you so much for having us. I am relieved. People can <laughs> stop tweeting me. You know the info now. <laughs> Stop you messaging also me on Discord. Secrets, so I'm, I'm very, very yeah, surprised. Yeah, stop messaging me on Discord. <laughs> Everything's good now. Uh, we can all, we can all have, breathe a little sigh of relief. But no, I agree with John. I'm so excited as somebody who uh, plays Overwatch all the time. You know, wants even just play more newer stuff. Uh, hearing all this news is great. Absolutely, it was great to see the community's reaction to all of the stuff which has been announced. So I think uh, I think we should dive right into it. So what changes can we expect to see in the Overwatch League this very season? Yeah, first of all, we're happy to announce that all Overwatch League players currently have access to the early build of Overwatch 2 PvP. Uh, so that means they're going to get about two months to practice their strategies and scream against each other uh, to make sure they are ready as they can be for the May 5th start. I think the amount of time that the teams have to practice is going to be like subjective across the board, right? Some teams feel like they probably need more. Some teams feel like they need less. But uh, two months, eight weeks is a, a lot of time, I believe, uh, for the teams to prepare and practice going into next season. It aligns with a lot of other games, game release to first tournament window. So... Uh, happy we were able to land on that, allow the players to get that much time with hands-on on the game. Definitely, and I, I think it's worth mentioning that we're so excited for teams to start coming up with their different strategies. And, you know, ideally, as we go throughout the season, we're going to see some pretty fluid meta changes and innovating from teams and, and what their tactics are to, uh, to to be the number one team. So excited about that as well. Just a lot of change overall, right? Uh, you know, we talk about 5v5 now, obviously you look at push as a new game mode, but, you know, speaking of like meta and heroes specifically, uh, we can say that Sojourn is going to be available for the Overwatch League at the beginning of the season. So that's another thing to throw in there that teams will have hands on with her, get some, you know, feel of how she plays and we'll see her at the beginning of the season. I don't even know anymore what I'm most excited about because there's just so much to look forward to, right? Like that one's huge news, I feel, that we have Sojourn playable on day one of the Overwatch yeah. League. That's huge. And uh, we, of course, also obviously have the 5v5. Uh, let's talk about modes and maps. Uh, I know I've been waiting to see which push maps will be played once the re reveal we reveal the map pools. Um, will we have all the new maps available or, or no? What's the deal? So we'll have a really great mix of some of your favorite uh, Overwatch maps through the years while, while also incorporating a lot of the new ones. Yeah, so we can go through the entire uh, map list for all of the game modes. Uh, I would also say your fan favorite maps that are going to return, they're going to have a different feel to them, right? They're going to look a little bit different, fresh coat of paint, some new effects. So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see kind of, uh, you know, familiar maps, but obviously looking way different than they have in the past. So for control, we have classics like Ilios, Li Zhang Tower, and Oasis. For hybrid, you've got Icon Vault and King's Row. Had to throw that one in there. Wasn't going to let this go on without King's Row. And then obviously a new map with Midtown which we saw a preview of during the PVP live stream that we did uh, you know, a bit ago. And then for Escort, we're excited to have Circuit Royale in, which was Monte Carlo. So you guys be pretty familiar with that. Dorado, Gibraltar, and Route 66 return. And then for Push, that's our new game mode this year. Personally, super excited to see New Queen Street, which is Toronto, and Coliseo, which is Rome, which we've seen before. We'll be excited to see them being played regularly, really get a good idea of how the game will flow and develop with push in the mix. Yeah, and I think the coolest part about this map pool this year is that you have the familiarity of kind of like coming home to all these classic 6v6 Overwatch maps, while also adding the excitement with the new maps. And so all around, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this map pool. Yeah, excited seems to be the one word we just keep on using today. I'm just about to do it again. Like, they are such exciting changes. And uh, from Aaron and the game team's announcement, it just sounds like there's 
so much more uh, to come as well. So uh, what's the plan from your perspective on working with the Overwatch development team as the game is updated during our season? Right, I think the word fluid is an accurate word to describe what's uh, how the season's going to go, right? With game updates coming and content and, and all the all the exciting things that, that we have coming. We want to make sure that we are lockstep with the Overwatch development team in getting these updates uh, with the OWL season structure the best we can. So specifically, we want to make sure that major content drops um, happen between tournaments because we don't want to do too much you know, goalpost moving on the teams and the players um, and drop too much right in the middle of, of say, the mid-season madness seeding weeks. Uh, we want to make sure that they have sufficient time and that the tournaments themselves um, are fluid and structured enough to have that level of competition that's fair. That's very sensible. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I like to hear that. Uh, now, uh, he right, talked finally. me out of the crazy option, so it, <laughs> hey, I don't packing, know. Like, you like packing and, packing and Sean walked me down. They're like, we can't we can't just toss it in day one. Okay, all right. Uh, finally, guys, uh, uh, I think we already uh, seen the opening weekend schedule. Uh, we also already discussed in our first update the tournament structure, but that's just not enough for me. Uh, I want to see the full schedule. Is that available already? Uh, it is. If you go to overwatchleague.com, uh, full schedule is up on the site now. You can mark your calendars for some uh, marquee matchups you don't want to miss. Uh, if you think your team is going to get blown out, you can also figure out which ones you you want to kind of avoid on those days. You know, keep keep the keep the emotions running high, uh, positive vibes all around. But uh, no, I'm uh, really excited. We have the whole schedule up. Uh, really give a good idea of. Uh, I think for just kind of predictions and power rankings, like. People can now look through, comb the schedule of who's going to place where, where do we think teams are going to rank. And I think it's uh, it's also like a really cool storyline going into the season, right? Of like where we project teams versus what they actually do. Yeah, I can't wait to see everyone's wrong projections. That's like my favorite part. Well, I've never been year. wrong with my predictions, so. Of course not. I think so you never have right. either, right? Uh, in your predictions. Uh, no, actually, I, I'm... I wasn't first in predictions last season, right. but the previous seasons I've always, always been, first. so uh, we'll give one to Johnny, why not? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm super excited, again, excited for this season. Uh, Sean, Matt, thank you both so much for uh, joining me for a quick update. We will have more community updates as more information will start to become available to all of us. Now, Sean, any last words uh, to our fans? Yes, thanks again for having us, Owen. I am simply ecstatic to um, continue working with the Overwatch development team, all that's coming with the game this year and being able to talk about it um, even more over the coming weeks. It's going to make Overwatch League Season 5 the best one yet, I'm, I'm convinced. And, you know, I think in the coming weeks we'll have more to share about uh, our return to live events and um, the exciting things happening there. So more to come and, and stay tuned.